Hey everybody, good morning. Hey, you ever hear about how news gets out there? You know, in the olden days it used to be there was a guy with a bell, you know, and he'd be, be the messenger, he'd tell everybody, be like, Hear ye, hear ye, great news is afoot, great news is afoot, hear ye, hear ye. And then later on, you know, it was newspapers and you had these, these newsies, hey, Extra, extra, get your news here, good news here, good news, you gotta get it, buy it right here, bye, bye, bye. You know, you had it like that. They used to sell newspapers that way, and now, you know, it's a little bit different than that, right? Now it's like, oh my gosh. <gasps> Do you see this video? This is like the coolest video ever. I've gotta share it with all my friends on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, I gotta get it out there. People gotta hear, people gotta hear. Well, in the Bible, our story today is about John the Baptist. And he was like a town crier, a newsie, and like everybody who's a social media influencer. Okay, he was telling people, but he was telling people about something really, really special. What he was telling people about was Jesus. Jesus, God's son coming into the world. And let me tell you about this uh, John the Baptist guy. He's a little different. <laughs> See this guy? John the Baptist. Let me tell you about him, okay? John the Baptist was an unusual man. He had lots of hair and a long beard. Oh. His clothes looked like his face and they too were furry and hairy. His clothes were made of camel's hair. He was held together with a leather belt. John ate strange foods, including Wild honey and locusts. It's kind of a grasshopper. Ooh, yuck. He ate grasshoppers and locusts. Ooh. And wild honey. I mean, think about that. Wild honey isn't just like in a jar. You have to eat it right out of the hive from the bees. He was a little different. Well, God gave John an important job. A strange man, he had an important job. His job was to tell people that Jesus was coming and helped them get ready to believe what Jesus would teach them. John knew the things Jesus would tell people were the most important things in the world. When he taught people, John stood by the river and yelled out, Hey, hey, all of you, tell God you're sorry for your sins. Turn your life around and act in ways that are very good and very honest. Then he would turn to another group and shout, are you listening? This is important. Jesus is coming. He is the Messiah and he will save us all. Day after day, John continued teaching, preaching, and crying out so people would listen. Many people came to hear what John had to say about Jesus. There were rich and poor people, honest and dishonest people, nice and so nice people. Okay, he may have looked a little bit different. And really what he said was a little bit different because what he told people was that the Messiah was coming, the one that would save us all. And some people believed and some people didn't. You know, he was a messenger for God, telling people about Jesus. And here we are, 2,000 years later with our Christmas trees up, getting ready for Jesus' birthday, and we too are the messengers that the world needs. We need to be the criers. And now we don't have to cry out with bells and newspapers, but you know, when we share things, we wanna share things out of love, you know? Share happy and joyful videos, not mean, nasty, bad ones. We wanna share the word of God with people. Okay, and there's a song from Jesus Christ Superstar a musical where John said, prepare ye the way of the Lord, prepare ye the way of the Lord. We can prepare for the Lord by 
making our hearts happy and joyful and sharing that with others. Well, I want to be a crier right now at three o'clock today. St. Nicholas is going to visit us on Facebook and on YouTube. Okay, St. Nicholas is going to video and we're going to drop it at three o'clock. You're going to see what happened when he came to visit us and he can come to visit you. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you later. Woohoo!